joyful, joyful we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, dry the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life, amen. Anybody who has a seat near them that's empty, could you put up your hand? Because we have a few people looking for seats. I believe there's one here. So there's a seat up here, Huey. And yeah, so there's a seat here. Okay. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not wrong or oppress a resident alien, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. You shall not abuse any widow or orphan. If you do abuse them, when they cry out to me, I will surely heed their cry. My wrath will burn and I will kill you as the sword and your wives shall become widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to my people, to the poor one among you, you shall not deal with them as creditor. You shall not exact interest from them. 
If you take your neighbor's cloak in pawn, you shall restore it to that person before the sun goes down. For it may be their only clothing to use as cover. In what else shall that person sleep? And if that person cries out to me, I will listen, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. A reading from the, from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what kind of a person we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord. For in spite of persecution, you received the word with joy inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia, Macedonia and in Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you, and how you turn to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, 
You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. In the scriptures of the Old Testament especially, we often hear of widows and orphans. It almost becomes a stylized name for those uh, who are in special need of God's care and in special need of the care of the community. And today we hear not only about the widow and the orphans, but also about the resident alien. You shall not wrong or oppress a resident alien. What's a resident alien? A resident alien is someone who doesn't look like you, who's living in your land, but not a part of the original people from there. And the scriptures are very clear to remind the Israelites that they too were once resident aliens. They were aliens in the land of Egypt, and they were sorely oppressed in the land of Egypt. And God decided to lift them from that oppression by bringing them out of Egypt on the night of Passover, letting them wander through the desert for 40 years and eventually resettling them in the promised land, the land of Israel. And so God is reminding the Israelites, it's not only their own orphans and widows for whom they have to care, but also the resident aliens. And if they do not care for the resident aliens, then God will not be providing for them. This ties in quite well, although maybe not explicitly, with our gospel passage. Jesus is asked, and again, this is part of the chapters near the end of Matthew's gospel where the tensions have grown. And on the one hand, we have Jesus, and on the other hand, the scribes, the Pharisees, the lawyers. And so here, a lawyer asks him, teacher, which commandment in the law is greatest? There were many commandments in the law. In the 12th century, a Jewish lawyer, theologian, philosopher, uh, living in Spain by the name of Maimonides, actually counted up how many prescriptions of the law there were in the Old Testament. And he came up with the number of 613. Prior to him, no one had ever actually counted them. I remember once asking a rabbi friend of mine, do you keep all, and I didn't do it rudely, I was, we were actually good friends. He's an old, old man now, almost 100. Do you keep all of the 613 commandments? He said, no, absolutely not. I said, really? You no, know, some of them don't apply to me. They may apply to women. They may apply to this situation or that situation. We're only bound by the commandments that actually apply to us. It was a very sensible answer. However, all of these commandments, and Jesus is asked, which is most important? And he answers with the words of what we call the Shammai Israel. It literally means listen, Israel, or hear, Israel. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And then Jesus adds with a more obscure commandment that is found in the law of Moses, and he takes it to sum up so many other of the commandments. A second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments 
hang all of the law and the prophets. I often think, especially in these days, that we would all do well to pay attention to both of these, loving God, but also loving our neighbor as ourselves. creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And together we place all of our needs and all of our prayers before God, our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis, whose prayer intention asks for the increased participation of lay people in the administration of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop Christian, as he calls our diocese to unity to witness to Christ in these uncertain times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For increasing participation in the life of our parish by those who have just been confirmed in the faith by Bishop Christian, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all levels of government, as they seek to assist, pe assist people most affected by the pandemic, that they will affirm the value of every human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are working and contributing to help the poor at Christmas, and for individuals and families under increasing hardship, from colder weather, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For anyone who is sick and for people suffering in isolation and from loneliness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, Arthur Murphy, Francis Horgan, Charles Spear, Catherine Cummings, and Mark Terrio. And for those who mourn them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for all of your blessings. We bring our needs and our prayers before you. We ask you to hear them and to answer them through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And let us be seated while our altar is prepared.
and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, Look, we pray, O oh Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Christian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Tucker McKenna, Madeline Dudley, George and Rita Fudge, Venancia Adorino, Mary O'Brien, Teresa Dobson, and Teresa Como. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Christians, let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood, we are fed. Everyone who loves is born. Jesus is our life, God is love. We who break this bread are one body. We who share this cup are all one. Children of our Father in heaven, we are heirs with God's holy Son. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life. God is love. And let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And after receiving Holy Communion, go in the peace of Christ.